what is up everybody? Welcome back to the Lynx Lounge. We got another great arcade game on the way and that is the 1986 hit from Temco, Rygar. You want to talk about a great arcade port? Well, let's talk about the one for the one and only Atari Lynx. I mean, that's why we're here, right? I mean, we're talking about the Lynx. Let's talk about a great arcade port, Rygar. You know you want to play it, let's boot it up. Boom, here we go. Now when Rygar hit the scene, I only knew Rygar from the NES. Uh, it was sort of like a weird uh, role-playing action-adventure hybrid kind of a game. It was very glitchy, very buggy, um, but it was a new game for NES, so a lot of people had it. I did not know that it originated as an arcade game. One night, my family and I went to Round Table Pizza and they had a cocktail cabinet set up with Rygar. And right next to it was another arcade cabinet, Rostin. Two awesome barbarian games battling monsters. Uh, one was much easier than the other, which is why I played Rygar more than Rostin. Everybody that's played Rostin knows that that game is a beast, but it's awesome just as well. But uh, Rygar was cool because I had no idea that it, it was an arcade game before it was an NES game. So what kind of a game is it? It's basically a run and gun kind of a game or run and throw your shieldy thing at people. It's sort of like a shield yo-yo weapon. It's cool. Bust some heads, that's for sure. But you run from left to right and you clear the level. And we all know that heroes run right, right? I mean, that's the rule. You start at one side of the level, you work your way across, smashing up monsters, jumping on their heads, jumping over pits, and collecting treasures. It says right here in the manual that you are the hero that would be known by the mysterious birthmark, the mark of the wizard. This mark would allow the hero to open up magic chests strewn throughout the land and use the magic weapons hidden within. So you gotta find the chest, you gotta get the treasures, and you gotta bust some monsters up. Now there's special weapons that you can get along with the way. There's, you know, your uh, classic double points. Obviously you get, well, double points. There's a star weapon and it allows Rygar to shoot stars in the air. Um, sun weapon, it's, a, it's like, it makes your weapon bigger and longer for uh, quicker, more accurate shooting. That's what she said! <laughs> And you have Tiger Power, which gives Rygar the ability to destroy evil beings by jumping on them. Because that's what the tigers are known for, is jumping on top of people's heads and destroying them. You got a jump button and you got a fire button. And let's talk about the controls for a second. This control scheme and the way this game controls on the Atari Lynx is absolutely perfect. It's like butter. It's so responsive. It, it just works. It's one of those games that it just works really, really well. And it's very fun and addicting to play. Because once you get past the first stage, you get a little break, you take a breather, and then you're right back there and you're doing it again. And then you're taking a break, and then you're back at it again. And it just keeps going and going, and it's so fun to play. Let's talk about the graphics. The graphics are great. They're very close to the arcade. They don't look anything like the NES version. They're not glitchy. They're solid, and it's a joy to look at. Lots of different cool landscapes. You have the sunset in the background. I mean, it's a really, really lush, beautiful looking game. The sound is amazing too. Very good sound. You have this driving soundtrack, sort of like jungle drums. Um, really makes you move, really makes you want to keep going. Sounds great. The sound effects are great too. There's really good deep bassy explosions when you hit the bad guys. Now, the only thing, I have one complaint, just one, I only have one complaint. There is a very high pitched, like, ba -ding, 
noise, bing, that I don't know if it's just my old ears or if it's the speaker itself on here, but it starts to get very grating and I would have, find myself turning the volume down. Like I said, I don't know if it's just the speakers. Interesting if we listen to it uh, on the footage that I captured, I'm wondering if that translates at all. So we'll go ahead and listen. Can we hear it? Let me hear it. Mm-hmm. Want some more? Yeah. Is it annoying? I don't know, I guess that's for you to decide. To me, it's a, a, a little annoying. But anyway, that's my one complaint. I have one complaint for the game. So in closing, is this a game that you need to pick up? Absolutely, if you are out and about, or if you're on eBay, or Craigslist, or wherever you are, definitely look for this. Rygar is a great, great game. It's almost a perfect arcade port. It's beautiful to look at, and it's very, very fun and addicting to play. I highly recommend you get a hold of this bad boy right here. Hey, thanks for tuning in and checking out the Lynx Lounge. If you like this, I got other shows. I've got the Jag Bar. We look at Atari Jaguar games. I have the 7800 Avenue show that we just started where we uh, take a look at uh, 7800 games. And of course, the show that you're looking at right now, uh, the Lynx Lounge. Almost forgot the name of it for a second there, but it is the Lynx Lounge. Don't forget that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Mm. Spilled on myself. Check out Atari.io for the very best in retro life and classic gaming. From Atari to Nintendo, Sega, Turbo Graphics, and beyond. Atari.io